Uh, good morning. My name's Adon Banuelos. Uh, we're here to work some three-year-olds. Duncan just reminded me it's 30 days before the fraternity, so if I wasn't nervous about this video, now we are. And uh, but this is just the way that we do it. It's not the right way. It's not. It's the way that works for us. And uh, we're happy to share a little bit. real good right there I really like that that little pause there at the end of the cow from her she's to me right there she's asking how far I want to go and I think for the fraternity or for any young horses first outing it's really important that whenever their intensity is getting higher and their adrenaline is getting up that they slow down and they say hey how how far do you want to go here? And they don't let a cow talk them into speed. Um, that's, that's our job is to dictate how fast we go. And it's their job to read the cow better than us. <clears throat> and like Mr. Gary, Bellinfont said it to me the best and the simplest to where, and I've thought this for a long time, is people ask, where do you work a cow? Do you work a cow inside? Do you get outside of a cow? Well, it's hard to answer that question because you don't know which cow you're working. So, it's our job, it's our job to get the horse comfortable inside here or if we want to go even, or if we want to go clear past this cow, when we release, that's as far as we go. Right here, I'm going to use this, her backing up a little too strong. I'm going to use that, a lot of people would kick right here. I'm going to use it to tighten her down, so she's just thinking back a little bit. And I would never walk straight into my own tracks right there. I would change directions just a bit so that she separates the draw from the forward and I don't erase what I was just trying to explain. Good. Right there, I quit because I felt like that cow was just going to get worse and she was getting better. I think a lot of times in that, in that particular situation right there, when a cow is getting close and coming at you, you need to probably more than not, 60% of the time, make sure that that cow gets off of you and your horse wins and that cow leaves and goes away. That way it'll kind of install a little bit of more grit, per se, or at least you're instigating the grit. Some horses don't pick it up, but um, them learning to fight a cow off, or at least know that there's an ending to it, because a lot of times we just make them work, and the cow leaves, and then the cow comes back. You know you're going to lose the cow, and you keep working it. And that's just not cool in their mind. She's on the more energetic side. Um, so what we've been working on, well, actually it was my dad's idea. Before I went out west on the trip, he said, do not lope that mare too much while you're out there and uh, which doesn't make it that easy to work her but what he was trying to say is, is this mare needs to learn to control her emotions 